Hi there, my name is Perfecto De Castro and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is new amp day. So this just came in the mail. The Quilter Microblock 45 caused quite a stir at the 2017 Winter NAND show uh, last January. And I guess it's also quite a buzz online. So I'm quite lucky to have found this baby right here on Reverb.com from Alto Music. Thank you very much. Well, let's go unbox this thing. You have this neat little box that looks kind of like the pedal and as soon as you open it you see the manual okay one sheet manual uh detailing all the stuff that you need to know little red warning card so make sure you plug into a speaker not another electronic input And, <laughs> and here's a pack of playing cards. Not sure what that's for, but you know, it's fun. I'll give it to my kids later. And here she is. Okay. The Microblock 45 in all its tiny glory. And here's the power supply. <laughs> The power supply is even longer than the actual amp itself. That's the wild. And you have your cable. That's it. Everything out of the box. Now let's plug it in and see how she sounds. For the first half of this video, I'll be plugging directly into the Microblock 45 and I'll be fiddling with the knobs so you can see and hear the range of sounds that you can get direct into it. I'll be using my Chapman Norseman with uh, DiMaggio Gravity Storm pickups and Kurt Mangan strings. I have plugged the Quilter Microblock 45 straight into my Victory Vertical 2x12, which has Celestion Vintage 30 speakers. Humbucking tones. Split tones. Let's play around with the uh, the tri Q knob. So I guess the tri Q changes the the character of the amp by uh, affecting the mids or the mid content. Looks like on the lower settings you get more of the American clean sound, spanky clean sound. And as you move up in the range, more mids are introduced. Which reminds me of a clean British, you know, plexi-ish sound. Okay, so let's check out what the gain does. Um, all the way down. 
So I guess this acts like your, your preamp volume or preamp gain. the master a little bit it's pretty loud Full gain setting surprised me a little bit. I didn't expect it to sound like that. Um, I did like it better with the tri q knob all the way up because it controlled some of the, uh, the the flabby low end. I was also surprised at how well it cleans up when you roll down your volume knob. So you can go from full on raunchy ACDC type. <laughs> That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and a thorough 
video of the Quilter Microblock 45 just by itself. Stay tuned for my next video where I'll be running a few pedals into it and uh, we'll see how that sounds. I'll also have some footage of me using the Quilter Microblock 45 in band practice so that you can see um, how well it hangs with a live drummer. In the meantime, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up like, share it with your friends, please subscribe to my channel, and uh, check me out on my social media links. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and head on over to my website, perfectodecastro.com, for a bunch of other fun stuff. Okay, see you guys again soon. Bye.